I just wanted to get your opinion. How has he improved over fall camp in these first few games? Man, yeah, ever since he got here, I see how he's grown and uh, become more knowledgeable of our defense and seeing how pieces fit together. He's just uh, also an amazing athlete too, so that helps. What do you feel like is really clicking for the defense right now? Man, we're just, I think like we're all trusting each other. We're just getting closer to one another and uh, knowing that each one of us have a responsibility and we're just playing off of that. How detailed is Matt Guerrero's game preparation throughout the week? Man, he's he's serious as guy. He's a serious guy when it comes to game preparation. Uh, he wants to make sure everything is good, and it starts with him on the back end. But he also, you know, delivers it to the linebackers, and the D line as well. And then you being a part of the front seven, how do you guys performing well kind of alleviate the pressure off the defensive backfield as well? I think like if we go and affect the quarterback, and how we affect the quarterback makes it a little bit easier for the guys in the back end, so they don't really have to deal with all that throwing threat. Lewis Moore's been here for a couple of years now in, in the secondary. Just how much have you seen him improve since he got here? Man, well, he's he's a character. He's a funny guy. He uh, he's really a hard worker, and he he like he's detail oriented guy. So he wants to make sure everything's right, and he lets you know during practice too. So he's he's big on details, and I can see how he's he's grown over the time. Any stories kind of stick out about him? Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's one. Uh, Coach G, whenever we were in like ball camp, he said whenever a guy. Uh, it's doing what he wants to do, or doing um, up to the standard. It's not up to the standard and tell him to get out of practice. So he's always joking with guys. He's like, I'm going to kick you out if you don't uh, get this right or something like that. So he's just that type of guy. He's a funny guy. What's reinforced? You talk about the trust that you guys have built. What's reinforced that on the field? Like when you're lining up for a play, how does that, the mechanics of that trust work in terms of, you know, who's doing what right and all? Mm -hmm. But really, for like the big part of trust for me is like dealing with the D line. So knowing how them guys uh, they move and do different things really allows me to play off of them and play fast. And um, on the back end, that linebacker, sometimes you have to like correct or if something th doesn't turn out how you how you want it to up front, then we have to correct it. So just knowing that um, they have a responsibility and job to do, and we just play off of them, and it just makes it a little bit easier. What's playing behind a guy like Andre Carter like? that's on that defensive line. Yeah, he's just like a dominant force up front. That's all I always say about him. And just the way he plays, he just, he's the beast out there on the field. You can tell in every way he moves. What's it been like playing on next to Jacob? How's that going for you? It's going good. Like he's a, he's a really smart guy. We feed off of each other well. Um, we got, we became close ever since he got here. And so being able to trust a guy like him, knowing he knows his responsibility, him trusting me, uh, we just feed off of each other. Marks Burst is a guy who can play on the edge, play inside. Younger guy, what have you seen since he's come here as far as his development, how much better he's gotten? He's also a guy that's grown a lot too. Just seeing how he come up since he's got here t uh, t in the fall camp and maturity wise, he's a mature type of guy. And um, just knowing how much he's worked for it, I'm, I'm glad he was able to show, show it out uh, on the field on Friday. It's kind of Andre's personality on the field, you know, like in huddles and all that. I mean, is he intense? Is he quiet? Is he loud? I mean, how, how, does, how does he kind of carry? I would say he's intense. He's not uh, much of a loud guy with, when it comes like in the huddle or anything like that. Just after, when he gets after it, he could tell he uh, he has a, a edge to him, but he's not too much of a loud guy. He's he's really focused and serious whenever it comes like in the huddle or preparation stuff. Who's the loudest guy in the defense? The loudest? Yeah. I would probably say Lewis Moore. He's Lewis Moore and Noah Pierre. Um, them two guys, they feed off each other too. <laughs> And uh, who can be the loudest for the most part? And uh, they're just—they're both uh, good characters. Is that just like like usual defense? Defensive backs do a lot of the talking on the end. Defensive backs normally do always do the talking. So yeah. Do Lewis and Noah just start competing for for it at times? <laughs> it seems like it at times. Uh, they just—they go back and forth all the time. So it's, it's good. You guys have done a good job of stopping the run through two games. What seems to be clicking on the front seven then? And just knowing our responsibilities. Like we say, we have a dominant up front uh, defensive line. And so them guys, when they uh, get after it, take and uh, move bodies around on their offensive line, it allows us to uh, move and fit gaps well. Marcus Burris just told us uh, when it comes to the defense, we haven't really seen the full potential uh, that you guys can have. Mm -hmm. Do you think that range true? It does range true. Like we've been watching uh, um, self scout over our last two games and seeing how the little mistakes could have. Uh, could they have an even better outcome with our defense and everything like that? So just getting those few things cleaned up, uh, we can definitely uh, have more potential. Yep. Aaron, you've got Louisville this weekend. Obviously, they're coached by Jeff Brown, who you would have 
played against at Purdue. Is there anything you fall back on from when you played them, or is it just a totally new ball game now? Um, yeah, there's there's been some things or similar things with how he does his offense and everything. Um, so we have looked at that, but also it's a whole new team, whole new, uh, I guess, personnel we're going out against. So kind of take it in as, as all new for the most part. You mentioned earlier your working relationship with Matt G. Mm -hmm. Your off-field relationship, I'm sure, has kind of evolved over the last several months. What's that process kind of, I guess, kind of how has that expanded and kind of where are you at right now off the field with him? Yeah, he's uh, he's the type of guy who always come up to you whenever you're not doing, um, like without specific football things, uh, like questions or anything like that. Just seeing how you're doing, like after the games, he always comes up to you and says he he likes how hard we play to every single person in the defense. Just building those type of connections, and, uh, give give them uh, give another person like a touch on the shoulder, just saying like good job, where I see you or um, you're doing good and stuff like that. Secondary is allowed. I believe they rank about 11th in the country right now in passing yards. Obviously, allowed 21 yards Friday night. How does it kind of change your job when you've got a unit that's playing so well? Man, that's good. I didn't know that stat. But, um, yeah, it just, I mean, it makes us want to play harder. Just uh, uh, getting, after the, getting after the quarterback, affecting him and how he does things is like a big part of the front seven's job. So doing that will allow them to eat on the back end. As a leader, kind of, how have you seen,